It was in 2026 that the news left even the most skeptical speechless. Elon Musk is really going to launch his own smartphone, the much-talked-about Tesla Pi phone. For a long time, the idea seemed like something out of a conspiracy forum or a fan's daydream. But everything changed when internal documents leaked directly from Shanghai. The confirmation came like a silent lightning bolt. No show, no pomp, but with an earthquake-worthy impact on the industry. The rumor, which began back in 2022 with a casual tweet from Musk, is now gaining substance, structure, and a clear production schedule. The codename TP26 wasn't just random speculation. It's the real project for Tesla's first phone, with a pilot line already being prepared at the Shanghai Gigafactory. The most curious thing is that nobody knew for sure when this would actually happen. But the second quarter of 2026 arrived with more than just promises. Meetings with investors revealed concrete plans, and the market reacted with the same kind of euphoria seen at the time of the first Roadster. The combination of Starlink, artificial intelligence, and automotive design seemed impossible in a cell phone. But now it's about to become a reality. And not just any reality, but one that aims to topple the iPhone empire. Mentions of the term Tesla phone exploded on social media, and what was once just noise became a dominant trend. The initial provocation came in a very symbolic context. Musk and Apple were at odds over App Store restrictions, and Elon, as if by chance, uttered the phrase that lit the fuse, if necessary, I will make an alternative phone. Few people took it seriously, but those who follow Musk know that his most bizarre ideas often turn into something much more serious than they seem. When he said he was going to launch reusable rockets, they laughed. When he said he would make an affordable car with a 500 kilometer range, they laughed too. Now, nobody is laughing at the Pi phone. The geopolitical landscape also helped accelerate everything. With escalating tensions between Western companies and decentralized platforms like X, formerly Twitter, the idea of having a cell phone outside the Apple-Google ecosystem gained traction. Musk saw the gap, a device that doesn't depend on carriers, uses satellite connectivity, runs a Linux-based system, and connects directly to the Starlink cloud. It's not just about making a smartphone, it's about creating a new ecosystem. And that's precisely the masterstroke behind it all. The first technical clues came from an unlikely source, logistics spreadsheets in the Lingang district of Shanghai. The code TP26 appeared linked to BOE OLED screens, CATL, aluminum ion batteries, and miniaturized thermal sensors. The question shifted from, is it true, to how much time is left? And the answer came soon after. Internal testing begins this quarter, and the pilot line is ready to produce up to 50,000 units per quarter. For those who follow Tesla, this already means the clock is ticking. Another point that caught attention is the production location. Instead of using outsourced factories like most brands, Musk decided to use his own Shanghai Gigafactory, the same one that produces the NV91 and NV93 models. This ensures total control over production, as well as allowing direct integration with the assembly lines of Optimus, the humanoid robot that automates repetitive tasks. In other words, Musk is applying the same formula as Tesla, maximum vertical integration, extreme automation, and aggressively lean costs. The anticipation among fans of the brand is almost religious. Groups on Reddit and technical forums are already discussing possible functionalities, from neural unlocking to synchronization with the car's autopilot. Others think it's an exaggeration, that the phone will just be another Android with a shiny cover. But those who follow the logic behind Tesla's moves realize that there's something different here. The Pi phone isn't being made to be just a competitor. It's being shaped to be a disruption. The most unbelievable part of all this? The price. When the first rumors emerged that the Tesla Pi phone could cost only $157, many people laughed out loud. After all, 
We're talking about an almost symbolic value in today's market, where a top-of-the-line Apple smartphone easily exceeds $1,200. But how can a phone with its own chip, OLED screen, and satellite connection cost so little? The answer, however surprising it may seem, lies in Tesla's own DNA, cutting out intermediaries, automating everything, and transforming innovation on a massive scale. The first piece of this puzzle is the processor. While Apple spends over $60 per unit on its A17 Pro chips, Tesla decided to develop its own chip, the Dojo Lite. Based on the architecture already used in its supercomputers, the chip costs only $42 per unit, thanks to a partnership with TSMC and the elimination of licensing fees. In addition to being cheaper, it's optimized for AI tasks, making its performance more intelligent than powerful. Exactly what a Tesla smartphone needs to deliver. But the magic doesn't stop there. One of the biggest culprits in the cost of smartphone production is the battery. And that's where Elon Musk makes the impossible seem normal. Tesla will use aluminum ion cells instead of traditional lithium cells. This technology is not only lighter and safer, but also reduces costs by up to 65%. While a conventional lithium battery can cost $6.50 per unit, the aluminum model developed for the Pi phone costs less than $2.30. $30. It seems like a small amount, but when multiplied by millions of units, it becomes a huge advantage. Now, the robot army enters the scene. With Optimus robots taking over about 60% of assembly tasks, production time per phone has dropped from 3.2 hours to 2.1 hours. This nearly 30% reduction in time means lower wages, fewer errors, fewer breaks, and greater efficiency. This change alone represents a savings of $12 to $14 per device. In an industry where every penny counts, this is a direct blow to competitors who still rely on traditional assembly lines and intensive human labor. Distribution has also been completely reinvented. Instead of selling through carriers or large retailers, Tesla plans to use its own channels, physical stores, online pre-sales, and even integration with the X platform, formerly Twitter. This maneuver eliminates the 12 to 15% commissions normally passed on to third parties. In the case of a $155 phone, this equates to an instant saving of up to $23 per unit, enough to make any Apple executive lose sleep. And the marketing? Here, Musk gives a real masterclass. While giants like Samsung and Apple spend up to $120 per unit on global marketing campaigns, Tesla spends practically nothing. Musk's own reach on social media has become a free advertising machine. With almost 200 million followers combined, each tweet functions as a viral campaign. Estimates show that Tesla's marketing cost per device is no more than $3, and that's without hiring any influencers. Adding up all these cuts, $26 for the chip, $4 for the battery, $13 for automation, $20 for distribution, and over $100 for marketing, the total production cost is around $110 per unit. This leaves room to sell for $150 and still make a profit. Is it tight? Yes. But when you're talking about Tesla scale, where millions of units are manufactured and distributed in an integrated way, even a small margin becomes an ocean of money. And, let's face it, Musk has never played for immediate profit. If the price already scares the competition, what about what's inside this device? The Tesla Pi phone isn't just trying to compete with iPhones or Galaxies, it's trying to redefine the concept of what a smartphone is. From the beginning, leaks pointed to a very different approach. Instead of just being another beautiful and fast device, the proposal was clear. To create a portable extension of the Tesla ecosystem with embedded AI power, direct connection to space, and an almost surreal integration with the company's other products. At the heart of this machine beats the Dojoite, a 12-core neural processor built on the same architecture as the Tesla supercomputers used to train autopilot. Capable of 68 trillion operations per second, 
It's almost twice as fast as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in artificial intelligence tasks and 1.8 times more efficient than Apple's A17 Pro. More than just benchmark numbers, what this means in practice is a phone that thinks and responds smoothly, even under heavy load, without overheating or freezing. This energy efficiency becomes even more remarkable when you look at the screen. We're talking about a 6. 1-inch FHD Plus OLED panel with 120 Hz adaptive refresh rate and a peak brightness of 2,000 nits, 33% more than the iPhone 15 Pro Max, by the way. Touch response is almost instantaneous, with latency below 5 milliseconds and compatibility with HDR10 Plus and 10-bit color delivers a cinematic visual experience. But the icing on the cake is support for neural gesture interactions a feature that, according to some insiders, will be compatible with the current Neuralink prototype. The operating system also defies the obvious. Forget pure Android or variations of iOS. Tesla developed its own Tesla OS, a Linux-like platform optimized for AI, focused on low-latency tasks and full integration with Starlink Cloud, AppX, and Neuralink Sync. The idea is that the user not only controls the phone, but interacts with it in real time, as if it were an extension of their mind. Something that sounds futuristic today, but within Elon Musk's logic, seems like just the next natural step. And you can't talk about performance without mentioning storage and memory. Although official details haven't been released yet, leaks point to versions with 12 GB Bader 3200 of LPDDR5 RAM and up to 1 TB of UFS 4.0 storage, numbers that put the Pi phone alongside the most powerful smartphones on the planet. But with a key difference, everything here was designed to communicate directly with Tesla platforms. From the car to the home solar system, everything will be just a touch or a neural command away. Another interesting point is how the Pi phone handles overheating. Thanks to the Dojoite's low heat dissipation architecture and a passive cooling system based on aerospace materials, the device can maintain peak performance for longer without thermal throttling. This is particularly important in demanding games, 4K video calls, or real-time streaming via Starlink, scenarios where most top-of-the-line phones start to struggle after just a few minutes, and the impact on battery life cannot be ignored. By consuming less energy and wasting less heat, the DeJoyt processor helps the aluminum ion battery last longer per charge. In practice, internal tests indicate that even with heavy use, the Pi phone can deliver more than 10 hours of screen on time, with room to extend to two days with moderate use. In a world where almost everyone lives with a charger in tow, this could be a game changer. While the processor and screen are already impressive, the real hidden trump card inside the Pi phone might be its battery. While the world is still debating marginal improvements in lithium cells, Tesla simply swapped the core technology and did so confidently. The model adopts a 4200 Mamimater Mi aluminum ion battery, which at first glance seems modest, but that number is deceiving. Thanks to its energy density being 1.7 times greater than lithium, it is equivalent in real capacity to a 5500 Mimimard Arch battery. It's like swapping a 1.0 engine for a silent and compact V8. The most immediate impact is on charging speed. With support for 65W GAN chargers, the battery can be fully recharged in just nine minutes. Yes, you read that right. That's 540 seconds from zero to 100%. For those who are constantly plugged in, this is a game changer. Imagine leaving home with 5% battery, stopping for a coffee, and returning with 100% in less time than it takes you to finish an espresso. It's the kind of benefit you can't ignore when you're always connected. But the real shock comes when it comes to durability. While the market average delivers around 800 to 1000 full charge cycles before the battery starts to fail, the Pi phone promises an incredible 10,000 cycles while maintaining 98% of its original capacity. In practical terms, this means the phone could be charged daily for an entire decade, 
and still maintain almost its original performance. It's an absurd longevity that practically eliminates concerns about planned obsolescence, an increasingly sensitive topic among consumers. This durability comes, in part, from the aluminum ion chemistry itself, but also from the intelligent charging control system that Tesla implemented. Instead of simply shutting down when it reaches 100%, the phone operates in thermal maintenance mode, redistributing the charge internally and preventing wear and tear on the components. The same algorithm used in cars to extend battery life now fits in the palm of your hand. It's electric car technology applied to something that fits in your pocket, literally. Furthermore, the Pi phone's battery has an environmental footprint that's sure to generate discussion. Aluminum, unlike lithium, is more abundant, easier to recycle, and less toxic if improperly disposed of. With Tesla using leftover materials from its own gigafactories and applying the closed-loop concept, each cell inside the phone may originate from recycled material from the company's own cars. It's the kind of circular innovation that makes sense both ecologically and financially. And the market is increasingly paying attention to this. There's another technical detail that deserves attention, the battery's thermal stability. Even under continuous stress, such as demanding games, long calls, or 4K recordings, the cell temperature remains up to 18% below the average of an equivalent lithium battery. This drastically reduces the risk of overheating, explosions, and other problems that unfortunately still plague competing devices, especially in markets with more extreme climates. With all that processing power and a battery that's practically immortal, you'd expect its connection to the world to be equally revolutionary. And that's exactly where the Tesla Pi phone sets itself apart from the rest of the industry. The star of this part of the project is undoubtedly the direct integration with the Starlink satellite constellation. Instead of relying on local carriers, signal towers, and plans full of hidden fees, the device connects directly to space. That's right, you take the phone out of your pocket, turn it on, and you're already talking to low Earth orbit. According to the most recent internal tests, the Starlink connection delivers download speeds of 50 to 120 by MBPs with latency below 30 milliseconds. This is fast enough for 4K video calls, online gaming, and even cloud streaming. But the most impactful point is total independence. Imagine being able to use your cell phone anywhere on the planet, from the middle of the Amazon to the Sahara Desert, without a SIM card, without an operator, and without a contract. It's digital freedom on a level that until recently seemed like science fiction. This architecture also completely changes how we think about internet access. Today, billions of people still live in regions with unstable or non-existent connectivity. The Pi phone, by connecting directly to the satellite network, completely bypasses this geographical limitation. It's as if Tesla were building a new layer of global internet, accessed not by towers, but by a swarm of satellites visible only to those who understand the magnitude of this move. But the Pi phone's connectivity goes beyond navigation. It features dual-frequency GPS support, L1 plus L5, the same type of system used in autonomous vehicles and military geolocation equipment. This allows for incredible accuracy, down to centimeters, in maps and real-time location. And of course, there's integration with Tesla Vision, allowing the phone to function as a true offline navigator with 3D maps, visual recognition, and even AI-based augmented reality. This synergy with Tesla Vision is no coincidence. The system uses the same mapping database as Tesla vehicles, including traffic data, object behavior, and urban environments. The result is a navigation experience that seems like magic. The phone understands when the user is walking, driving, cycling, or using public transport, and adapts routes dynamically, contextually, and visually.